All right, let's go on to beat. That's right, baseball beat with my guy. He is my partner on our Cubs Talk podcast. He's our Cubs insider. He is Gordon Wittenmeyer. Are they going to spend money? Because me, like a lot of fans, and I am a fan, we gave them a year. Oh, you're a fan. Yeah, I've never made that clear. They, we gave them a year to, okay, you're going to clean house, you're going to re One year. That year has come and gone. It's time to push your chips back in and start getting aggressive. So will they spend? Well, they're not going to spend on Wilson Contreras. We know that. We'll get to that they in made a that clear. What about in free agency? There's Bogarts. There's Trey Turner. There's Dansby Swanson. There may be Carlos Correa, who I think will opt out. I spent an hour today listening to zero straight answers to a whole bunch of very good questions on this subject uh, in, in Jed Hoyer's season-ending press conference. Mm -hmm. uh, they promise to be aggressive. However, when you dig down to some of the answers, they're still talking about an eye on the future while they hope to compete next year. They asked specifically about top-of-the-rotation pitchers. He pushed back on what that might mean and wanting guys that they that, that they can give them quality innings and guys that they can help make better, which seems to take guys like certainly DeGrom and Verlander out of the picture and probably Carlos Rodon out of the picture. So uh, I don't expect them to go into the deep end of the starting pitching market. They do desperately need, like a lot of teams do, middle infield uh, athleticism, uh, despite what Nico Horner did. Did a great job this Would year. Jeff even said... Look, the way the game is moving with no shifts, yes. you've got to be more you athletic there. And they so have to. Nico in, goes in to so, second or, or, or not. center field. Or, or, or not, or, or shortstop. But you have to, whatever you do, you've got to go find somebody. I think you need to go find somebody, one of those shortstops. I Agreed. think they'll spend, what does that mean? Last year, they picked up two free agents. One, uh, one was a next-level starting pitcher compared to the top two guys that signed, and that was Stroman on a three-year deal. One was Suzuki, who they went after as an international free agent, and they got him for $17 million a year, which is less than a premier free agent, but a guy that you look at with upside who can acclimate for a year and then maybe hit the ground running his second year. So, again, these are sort of value deals, but you'd have to give them credit for spending. I think we'll see something more along those lines than, a, than, than what we've seen from the Padres or the Mets in recent years. So you do not see my guy Aaron Judge walking out here on set for Unfiltered. Are you high on Malnati's pizza or something? No chance. I mean, he stays in New York in all likelihood, and if he doesn't, it's because somebody throws the vault at him. And it ain't going to be the Cubs. If they're, if they're going to go big on somebody and target somebody, and, and to their credit, they've, they've done a good job uh, in the Theo Jed era of when they have a guy they're targeting, they tend to get him. So if they've got one of these shortstops in mind, which I think should be the way to go, then they probably get him. Maybe that's Bogarts, although now we hear rumblings out of Boston that, that, that maybe uh, they want to uh, re-sign him and re-engage in talks. For whatever that's worth, Boston always fails in, in those endeavors once they piss off the guy. So you've got uh, Bogart, who I think is a, a good likelihood. Trey Turner's value might have gone up a lot because with that's the, who I'd sign. Yeah, because because he also is a base running threat, and and that's going to be incentivized next year with some of the rules changes. Okay, let's also talk about what's realistic coming from the system. Is there anybody that's that's a damn good player, and he'll be here next year. Is that Brendan Davis? Is that yeah. Pete Crow Armstrong? Who is it? I mean, the problem with that is, okay, we've, as far as pitchers go, the guys who have a chance to break camp with the club next year, we've probably seen them. I think Hayden Wisniewski is one of those. He's going to go in with a chance to earn probably a rotation spot. Um, and, and uh, you know, certainly, uh, um, you know, well, we saw Caleb Killian, and I don't know some of the some of the relievers that that debuted this year. They'll be there, um, and then they've got a couple of guys on the cusp. But those guys, I, I would I would suggest that the pitchers in the system right now are going to open the season in the system next year and be depth. And in fact, probably Javier Assad, in a best case scenario for the Cubs is in your AAA rotation as the season starts and in the wings. And ready to go. But as far as the position guys, keep your eye on Brennan Davis and Matt Mervis for two different reasons. 
In both cases, there's an opening that may close up depending on what they do in the offseason. But you've got center field, in the case of Davis, right field and left field are taken. Yeah, there's Hap, there's Suzuki. And, and David Ross said that the other day. So center field is there for the taking. Davis missed a lot of time this year. He had the back surgery, but he came back from it. The prognosis going forward is all positive, but he's got to do a lot of strength building, and he lost a lot of at bats. So it's a long shot for him. Mervis had a monster season out of nowhere, and first base is still open. Okay, here is Jed Hoyer when he was questioned by the media today about all-star catcher Wilson Contreras. I had a great conversation with Wilson the other day. You know, we've always had a really good relationship, and um, I mean, I admire how he competes, and I, I admire the passion. Um, like I said, we'll, we'll definitely make him a qualifying offer. Um, we'll we'll be in touch with his, his representatives, and you know, as far as his, his comments and things like that, I, you know, I'll I'll take the comments that he sort of makes to me directly. You know, not not those. And um, like I said, I've I've really enjoyed, you know, I've always enjoyed our relationship, and I've. Um, I've really enjoyed watching him grow from a, you know, I remember watching him play in Boise in 2012. And, um, you know, I think whenever you, you know, we've, he's been, been with the Cubs for a long time. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll sort of take those, those comments and what, we, what we've talked about. Wow. Okay. So Wilson has. Sounds I think like Wilson's, me and my ex-wife. Yeah, exactly. Join the club. I think Wilson's hurt. More than angry, I think he's hurt that he went to three All-Star games, and they have zero interest. Why? And crickets when it comes what to any What is the untold extension. story? They, I, I think part of this, and Cap, you and I have both done reporting on this, I, I think th there's probably a, a uh, sort of an old news element to this, too. He was, you know, you, you remember when he first came up, uh, getting his emotions in, in check uh, was a big part of uh, his growth. Um, I think uh, working with people in some cases uh, was an issue over the years, and I think there were people that, that, that he clashed with. I don't think that's quite the case as it used to be. Um, I do know that uh, some of the evaluations over the years, uh, even from outside evaluators, has been his game calling um, and, and uh, picking that apart. But we saw not only has, has he had success, with the pitchers he works with. I mean, he went from starting five World Series games and, and them winning that World Series yep. to then becoming the personal catcher for the guy he didn't catch in that World Series, John Lester, who's a challenge to catch, and succeeded. So uh, this guy does work well with people. He's, he's got a, a passion and an edge that is uncommon in the game. I was going to say rare. Maybe it's not completely rare but it's certainly not commonplace and you're gonna just you're just gonna let it go disappointing but not unexpected very disappointing yep yeah, i agree keep up the great work i'll see you on the podcast all right you too man get ready to scream at you there he is that's my guy bring it gordon wittenmeyer